Titan is Saturn's biggest moon and the only place besides Earth known to have liquids on its surface. Its geological features and the presence of hydrocarbons suggest life might be possible there. Organized by the startup AREX, Project Polaris is an international collaboration that simulates a small international space agency with all its technical and logistical dependencies. For over two years, the project has involved over 300 people from 30 different countries who have worked both visually and in person on an innovative rover concept, a wheelless buoyant system capable of exploring Titan. A reactor can be used to thermally decompose the methane in the atmosphere and produce hydrogen gas that will feed the balloon and thrusters and allow the rover's altitude control. As the rover rides the wind currents near the equator, it will gain insight on Titan's alien processes, fluvial features and atmospheric properties. This summer, in just 21 business days, the team assembled a prototype adapted to Earth conditions at the Costa Rica Institute of Technology, called the Earth Star Rover, or ESR. Polaris is more than just engineering. Polaris' ultimate goal is to contribute to the globalization of space. But how did we manage to accomplish all of this work? From the 17th of June to the 20th of July, Polarians joined the San Carlos campus of the Costa Rica Institute of Technology, ITCR, with one objective, to design and build a basic prototype of the ESR with the intention of testing it during the camp. For the structure, a truncated octahedron was chosen as the main shape of the rover because of its ease of manufacture, lightweight and favorable aerodynamics. The structure is about one meter wide and 60 centimeters tall. Its frame is made out of black iron and eight panels were laser cut in acrylic. The interior of the rover is accessible through a hinged panel door. Inside, an acrylic shelf separates the electronics from the feed systems, which includes a helium tank, a low pressure line that goes into a weather balloon, a vent valve, and a high pressure line that feeds four thrusters, each with a solenoid valve and a pressure transducer. Due to safety concerns, it was decided to replace the theoretical chemical hydrogen unit, the helium tank, that supplies the balloon and thrusters. It's expected that the rover will require between 4.5 and 5 kilograms of helium from an external tank to inflate the balloon to a diameter of nearly 2 meters and fly up to an altitude of 10 meters. By using the low pressure line, the balloon can be further inflated or deflated as needed. The four cold gas thrusters were theoretically designed to allow the rover to rotate and experimentally test it with air in the tent bench. The team 3D printed and tested over 40 different designs until supersonic flow was achieved and optimized. The latest iterations can achieve peak thrust levels of 4 newtons and have a nominal thrust of about 3 newtons when operated with air at a 70 psig. They will soon be tried out with helium in our test bench. These thrusters are expected to reach at least 7 newtons. For the electronics of the ESR, a barometer, an inertial measurement unit and a humidity sensor were chosen. Since the ESR will be completely recoverable after flight, all the scientific and diagnostics data will be stored on board for analysis after testing. Also, the ESR will function autonomously, although the communications module should make it possible to manually take control of it if needed. The prototype also includes an antenna, a GPS, an anemometer and a set of two cameras. Lastly, the power supply unit presents a 12 volt line for the solenoid valves and a 5 volt line which will supply the other electrical components of the rover. The electronic and propulsion systems were integrated into the structure, and on August 19th, a first test was made. We proved that with only one air thruster, average yaw rates up to 60 degrees per second are possible. Although opposite thruster spares could be used to prohibit any horizontal displacement, the moment of inertia seems to be big enough making this motion negligible when using just one thruster. Social and volunteering work. Polaris is, however, more than just engineering. Polaris is hard work, it's passion, it's friendship, it's community, it's empathy. 
This summer, during the action stage, Polarians did not only contribute in the construction of a rover, but also in the construction of solidarity. Many members travelled to Santa Clara to help families affected by the floods. They also collaborated in labours such as tree planting, beach cleaning and science outreaches in various elementary schools. Last but not least, most foreign members got to intern in national companies from the Costa Rica Aerospace Cluster. Polarians from countries like Costa Rica, France, Italy, United States, Colombia, Latvia, Romania and the United Kingdom discovered Costa Rica's natural beauty through activities such as trip to beaches, forests, rivers and volcanoes, all of them organized by the hosting and travel team. Players got to know each other through social activities like salsa dancing and playing board games at a local cafe. Next steps. So, what's next? For the years to come, Project Polaris will focus on the improvement and design of components required to get the ESR off the ground. As new members, mentors and partners from all around the world join, the ESR will approach even more the theoretical design for Titan. Several Polarians will be attending the International Aeronautical Congress this September in Paris and present five papers. There will also be one presentation at La Maison de l'Amérique Latine in Paris and another at the Business Trade Mission in Costa Rica. Crowdfunding If you wish to contribute to our project, you can do it the following way. First, you can follow our activity on our webpage and social media, where you will get regular news about the program. By following us, you increase our visibility and give a larger reach to the project. Also, you can back our crowdfunding campaign over in Go Get Funding, and enjoy the multiple digital rewards we have for our donors. By supporting Polaris, you support the globalization of space and help us prove that we can build one space. Por un espacio, por un espacio, for one space, we are Project Polaris.